The following video is in two parts. The first part is showing the knots used for the second part, which is configuring a tarp shelter. So sit back and enjoy the show. Siberian hitch. Wrap around your left palm, the working end. Twist your hand over the standing line. Grab the working end. Tighten that loop. Snug it up against the tree, you're good to go. One more time. Siberian hitch. Wrap the working line around your left hand. Twist your hand over the standing line. Grab a loop. Pull it through. Firm it up against the tree. You can pull on that all day long. Very quick release. On the other end of the line, what we're going to use for a tensioning knot, is called a trucker's hitch. Now a lot of you might know this, but how I do a trucker's hitch, cradle the standing line and the working line in your left hand, reach over to the standing line, make a half loop, come back in and grab ahead of the loop, make a loop that way, put the working end through the loop, tighten it up, and then come around and make a series of half hitches around that loop right there. I'll demonstrate the half hitches later. They're pretty easy. A modified trucker's hitch, also referred to as a truckie or power cinch, it's the one I like to use. What you do is you drape the working end over the standing line, come ahead of the um, working end on the standing line, make a half loop, come back over the standing, over the working end, pinch that standing end, come back into a loop, people. Now you're tensioning part of it where you get your purchase and your mechanical advantage is right down in there. Note this. See that? Pulling, come around and tie a series of half hitches around that end. But check that out. That's a power cinch. One more time. Power cinch people. Working end over the standing line. Make a half loop. Come around. Pinch it. Grab a loop. Pull the working end, tighten that up, come around the tree, and tie off a series of half hitches. I'm going to show you now a, um, how to tighten your tent pegs through a taut line. Working end around the standing line about three times. Snug up those loops just like so. This is very easy. Come around the interior part of the line and just create a half hitch like that. Now what the advantage of this line is, that's really cool, is you can, you can snug up this right here and it will not come loose. Loosen it, I'll put this between my teeth, and tighten it, just like that. That's how you can uh, tighten your teg tent pegs. It's called a taut line. All right, Prusik demo. So what you want to do is your, for your Prusik loops, you want to go, just make a square knot. Every time you do a square knot, you go with your, say your working end under, tie a half knot, and then over. So no matter what direction you go in, you want to go under the first time and over the second time, and then that looks like that. If you do it under and under, or over and over, your knot will come out. But that's a good square knot, okay? So that's a Prusik loop. What I like to do is put the knot end up top. You could go this way as well, but then this knot end is going to be all clumped up around there. So I like to start off this way, and you're going to go through here three times, okay? One, two, I'll try to do three. This is such a small, well, yeah, I can get three. And then pull it through and then tighten up those three loops that you made against the line. Really snug up this stuff with your fingers or else it will slip. Okay? See how I'm pushing all that stuff in so it's really nice and lines up really nice. It should look really perfect like that. And then pull on that, make it nice and tight. Then again, you can work with the, with the square knot end, but this is the end that you can slide people back and forth along your ridge line. And, and when you secure that, 
it will not slip. That, my friends, is a Prusik knot. So setting up the ridge line on your tarp is the most important part of setting up a camping tarp. You want to put the ridge line above the tarp because the rain will stay along the line and not go under your tarp. If you put the line under your tarp, that rain will follow that line and you'll get wet inside and it'll drip down on you. So there's numerous ways you can lash this if, you, if you're not using this kind of thing that I've got going on here. You can use these gator clips and I've used these before hanging off here and, and clamping off the tarp. However, they can slip and they do slip. That's why I really like this kind of thing going on here. What I've got going on here to secure the line is a Siberian hitch right there. That's my first knot. My tensioning knot is down here. And if you can see that, that's the part that has the purchase or gives the, this knot the mechanical advantage. This is the power cinch or the modified trucker's notch. Also what's referred to as a truckee knot. So that thing really makes this really springy and really tight. Then what I've got going on here on the ends of the tarp are prussic knots. After I get the prussic all nice up there, I undid my square knot here and then re-tied it on the ends of the tarp. So I, I tied off my prussic came down, undid the square knot, and then retied that. And then that way, I don't have to use any additional lashing there. And then you just go ahead and tighten those prussics on each end. Everything is really tight all the way across. My prussics are working great. So here what I'm doing, just put in a tent stake there. And to tie off my corners, I'm gonna tie a taut line that I showed previously wrapping it around the standing line three times and then doing a half loop, half hitch around the line facing out. That puts that nice neat three loops right there from which I can tighten up those loops and get that corner down pretty good. All right, so this is my quick and dirty tarp setup. It's a good idea to set your tarp up pretty low to the ground, people because you know the weather comes in and you want to be pretty low to the ground with this kind of minimal minimal setup and it's really satisfying to see your ridge line set up properly you know starting off with a nice Siberian hitch down on one end securing the uh, middle of the tarp with a tie or perhaps a grommet or a gator clip that I showed and then you know securing that either with a trucker hitch or power cinch on the end getting your prussics set there to uh, bring the ends tents tent up the ends and uh, yeah let's go inside here I'll show you what this is like again it's, I, keep, I keep my tarp pretty low to the ground this can be reinforced with leaves and you know twigs and stuff like that to create more of a wind and rain barrier um, out that direction there's really no weather that would get me this is facing west I could even raise these a little bit more to get sunlight. But again, I just wanted to demonstrate how efficient, how roomy this is and you know the protection it'll give you um, from weather. I'll be using this as kind of a base camp um, for some future videos. I just wanted to give you a heads up on um, the kind of tinder that I carry. I make a lot of these birch bark little quickie baskets lashed together with spruce root or in my case hemlock root really pliable stuff and you know this is a couple of years old this little one but I kinda just cut the um, bottom there and I fold them over and I lash it but what I have for tinder is um, you see that gooey stuff on the bottom there that's pine sap it's a translucent clump of pine pitch there and um, I just have that wrapped up in some birch bark here dry birch bark and it's really really sticky so I carry that in my little birch um, basket little little mini basket 
and then I put that inside a baggie. Thanks a lot for watching, as always. And if you're new to my channel, would be great to have you as a new subscriber. Have fun, folks. Drop comments. Let me know what you're up to.